week, Lab TV travels to an Air Force research lab in Dayton, Ohio, where scientists are looking at brain waves so they can help pilots fly their planes. Flying an airplane is an exciting job, but it takes a lot of focus and skill. Pilots need to stay sharp even in challenging situations because mistakes can be dangerous. While a pilot is flying an airplane or working some other task, what we want to do is second by second decide, is that pilot overloaded? Are they working too hard? If we detect that, that's when we want to somehow make the pilot's job easier. To figure out how hard a pilot is working, the scientists have developed a way to read the electrical signals coming from his brain. Your brain is made up of millions of neurons, individual little cells that work together to actually accomplish tasks. As neurons communicate with each other, they generate tiny little electrical signals. And with lots of neurons working together, those electrical signals are strong enough that you can actually pick them up with wires placed on, on people's heads. The scientists can look at those signals, called brain waves, with a device called an electroencephalogram, or EEG. As you're doing different tasks, and particularly as you work really hard and start to get stressed and overloaded, we can pick that up by looking at your brain waves. And without even really knowing what you're doing, we can just from the brain waves uh, sort out uh, just how hard you're working. The scientists connect a pilot to a special EEG machine and then study his brain waves while he's using a flight simulator. So what we're going to do now is put electrodes on Mike, and that's going to allow us to measure his brain waves. These electrodes that we're putting on his face are actually going to measure his eye movement. The next step is to place the electrode cap onto Lieutenant Harder's head. Inside there are 19 electrodes and it measures the brain waves all around from the brain. We'll center the cap on the front of his head. We'll make sure that each electrode is where it's supposed to be. And then we'll attach the chin strap and that will help keep the cap in place. Now the pilot starts flying the airplane. They could also test him while he's flying an unmanned aerial vehicle, or UAV. This is the brain wave, the actual data that we're collecting from the pilot. At the moment, he's really not working all that hard, so while the lines are going up and down, on the whole, it's pretty regular, pretty constant, and there's not a whole lot going on. Now he starts to land the airplane. Pilots are more likely to get stressed out when they're taking off, landing, or when something unexpected happens. This is brain waves collected from when the pilot's landing the plane. There's a lot more variation in these brain waves. There's really a lot more going on here. You can also see on these two lines here, those are eye movements. His eyes are moving more and his heart beats a little bit more rapid. So on the whole, he's working pretty hard to land the plane. He's working hard visually, that's, that's the back of the head, and he's having to make decisions. He's having to think pretty hard about um, what he needs to do next, which shows up in, in the front of the head here. Once we've detected that someone's getting overloaded, getting stressed, and, and likely to make mistakes, um, what we try to do is make the computer, make the automatic systems more of a partner with the pilot. They're using the latest technology to combine what a human can do and what a computer can do. And each day, the scientists are learning more and more about the brain. You know, trying to understand the brain is, is probably the most complicated machine there is in the world. So, uh, so in terms of challenging science, that to me is, is kind of a pinnacle. To find out more about brainwaves, check out labtvonline.org.